Kässpätzle und Kässknöpfle. Das ist in Germany homemade pasta with cheese. Hello everyone, I'm Marcus from Culinarisch. It is a simple dish with a few basic ingredients that everyone can make at home. You just need this tool called Spätzlehobel or simply use a strainer with big holes. The ingredients for two persons are 200 grams all-purpose flour, three medium-sized eggs, one teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon nutmeg, 100 milliliter water, 200 grams grated cheese. Uh, okay, it doesn't work. Just five onions and 50 grams butter. A green salad with vinaigrette always accompanies this dish. For the vinaigrette we need one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon mustard, four tablespoons vegetable oil, two tablespoons vinegar and black pepper. Preheat the oven to 200 Celsius. Bring five liter water to the boil and add a handful of salt into it. Now let's make the batter. Add salt, nutmeg and eggs to the flour and mix it. You need to add water if the dough is too thick to mix. That's how the batter should look like. Let it rest for 5 minutes. Meanwhile I slice the onions and fry them in butter with salt and low heat to caramelize. Now I have time to make the vinaigrette. Mix salt, mustard, vinegar and black pepper in a bowl. Then add the oil and mix it uniform. That's it. Always keep an eye on the onion and move them in the pan to not burn. To make the knöpfle, first make the hobel wet, that the batter doesn't stick on it. And put 4 to 5 spoons of batter on it. Press it through the holes using a dough scraper. The batter drip in the hot water and get formed into small buttons, which in German is called knöpfle. When the knöpfle come to the surface, it's time to fish them out and place them in a baking dish. Add some layer of cheese and black pepper on top. Make the next batch and repeat until the batter and the cheese are finished. Bake it in the oven for 10 minutes. and then add the caramelized onion on top. And the food is ready to serve. If you are a mac and cheese fan, you will love this dish. You can also add a little bit of cheese on top if you like. It is mega cheesy and melty. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.